Hello, I'm Mikko Rönkkö. I'm an associate professor of entrepreneurship at Jyväskylä University School of Business and Economics in Finland. And welcome to my office and my office online teaching setup. So today I had the first day of teaching uh, remotely via Zoom from the comforts of my own office. So previously I've been doing online teaching from home where I have a, a small studio set up or actually two different places to teach. I have another video about that teaching setup. And then we have a studio here at the university where I do pre-recorded videos and I also do some live lecturing from the studio. But this time I was, um, I have my own office set up ready and I was um, using that. And then some students asked me, how do I do it? And one course assistant uh, sent me uh, this long explanation of a, a Finnish professor and how he does uh, online teaching with green screen effects and there's the hardware encoders and all kinds of things involved. But you don't actually need any of that. What you need is a good webcam, some lights, green background and a decent computer. So let, let's see what my setup looks like. My hardware consists of Logitech Brio webcam. You can get it for, I think the list price is 240 euros. That's on the expensive side, but sometimes you can get it on Amazon for discount for 140. I originally went for a cheaper webcam, but that did not work out well. And I did not want to pay for another webcam if it doesn't satisfy the requirements. So I went for the higher end. And then I also have a ring light and uh, it's installed here on the side of my desk. So I can easily turn it on and off when I do video conferencing or teaching. Then I also have this, this green screen here, this curtain, and it was installed by myself. So there's, uh, the, uh, the building maintenance guys told me that they would not install it because if I, they install one for me, they would have to install for everybody. And they told me that I can put it up myself if I do minimum amount of holes. And I eventually ended up putting it there. Uh, it, there's like a small gap between the ceiling panels and I just jammed uh, the, the attachment points uh, in, inside the gap and then just jammed some pieces of eraser there to make it really tight. So it's really a do-it-yourself setup. Okay, so this is the setup that I have. I got my laptop here, then I got two 27-inch monitors and you really need three monitors for effective online teaching because PowerPoint takes two monitors. You have one for the presenter view and one for the actual presentation. And at least on Mac, PowerPoint does not like to have any, any other software in the same screen where PowerPoint is. So let's take a look at how it works. We got the elements that we need here. We got the PowerPoint. This is the presentation that I gave today. We got uh, the Zoom. This is the presentation tool. And then we got the OBS uh, uh, presentation, o OBS broadcasting software, which I use for, for doing green screen effects. And hardware wise, that's the webcam and that's the ring light. So we can, we can switch the light on. I'll, I'll keep it off until I, I switch to a different camera in a moment. And uh, then I have a microphone. I got this wireless lapel microphone, but just earbuds will work as well. My wife uses earbuds and, and it works for her. So if you don't have a wireless microphone, I happen to have one because I needed one for a project. And that's what I'll be using during the pandemic. Now let's take a look at the software. So we got PowerPoint, we got Zoom, we got OBS, and um, we'll first set up PowerPoint. And the, our target is that the presenter view is going to be on the left monitor. And then on, on the computer, on the laptop monitor, we have the actual presentation. So uh, I'll move the PowerPoint window to the left screen and then just start presenter view. Now, more often than not, the screens don't go where you want them to go. So we need to relocate the screens. And this is important because PowerPoint wants to be in front of everything. And for example, if I have PowerPoint here, then it is very difficult to see in the Zoom participants which are behind. So PowerPoint goes to the side. And, and this screen is now for, for controlling the presentation. This screen is for controlling the stream and, and looking at the participants. And then uh, this screen is the actual presentation. And I'll now switch to recording my screen so you see how the computer side of this thing is set up. Now let's take a look at how the, uh, the computer is set up. And I'll start by switching on, on the light so you can see the effect of, of having proper light. So 
you can compare this looks very very unnatural and then uh, you get lights here and then you can switch the color temperature this is way too cold this is way too hot like I'm sitting by a fireplace I use the medium setting so now now we have the light on and the next thing that we need to uh, to check is that there is there is no green background showing we can also do that later but the webcam allows to adjust um, the field of view so we can change wide uh, wide view narrow view and just medium setting which I normally use and then I'll just uh, reorient the webcam so that the only the green background here shows so there is no no wall or anything showing and now let's take a look at how we use the OBS software so um, we get the camera set up our PowerPoint is is living on uh, a separate screen of its own we'll just uh, make sure that it stays there so the PowerPoint is on the left screen the presentation is on the laptop screen and now we are we're working on on the main screen here and our objective is to get first the uh, the slides into the as a background into the zoom and and zoom has this this built-in feature for showing a presentation behind you but it does not work as well as, as using powerpoint itself for example powerpoint animations would not work well and i like to use animations a lot in my slides so i prefer to use uh, a separate software also if i want to demonstrate something on my computer like if i want to demonstrate how to do some kind of statistical analysis using Stata, then uh, being able to record your screen is better so let's start working on obs this is when you open obs this is what you see so you have scenes here so scene is basically a collection of things that are, are being shown and then you add sources to the scene so we'll add a source first we'll add a screen display capture so we want to have the content of the laptop screen that shows uh, the powerpoint presentation behind us so let's call it that laptop screen and uh, then uh, we pick we get to choose which screen so zero this is the main monitor that you're seeing now then uh, two is the the presenter view of powerpoint and and one is the uh, the laptop screen so this is what we want to show to our audience and um, we click ok and it's not properly sized so we'll just uh, do transform and uh, fit to screen here so that's what and so now we have the uh, the presentation in OBS and from PowerPoint and if we change PowerPoint slides then of course the presentation will be different we need to also add the camera so we'll add a camera and uh, camera is is called a uh, video capture device and uh, I'm gonna call it Logitech Brio and then we get to choose which camera which device we use so I have Epoch Cam which is a driver for using your your iPhone as a webcam OBS virtual camera is, is uh, something that I talk about in a moment then I have the built-in cam from the laptop and then I have the webcam that I installed on the desk so we'll use the desk webcam and now we can see that um, there's resolution so this is a 4k webcam we're going to use the full hd because that's normally the uh, the quality that you use when streaming and um, now the the controls here the uh, the webcam we can see this the screen here this uh, this wall there are two ways either we can adjust the webcam positioning so we can we can adjust it a bit like so or another thing that we can do is simply we can crop a bit from the side and, and there is plenty of room for me to move here so I will just crop the side and that's that's gonna be it and because I want to be presenting I'm also gonna increase the, the height of my desk a bit or raise my desk a bit because I think you're more natural when you present standing so now we have the desk on proper height and we will crop and, and cropping we add a filter so we'll take uh, to the Brio we uh, will uh, we'll crop and uh, filters and let it's called effect filter crop and uh, we are going to crop the right side you can you can try different values so uh, 200 is 
maybe enough if we just rotate the camera a bit. So this is 200, it's okay. And uh, another filter that we need is to have uh, this, this chroma key filter. So this is the, that does the thing that does the green screen effect. Now that we have myself showing on the screen, we just need to do a little adjustments. For example, if I walk to the left, I will disappear. So we want to move myself a, a right a bit and uh, like so. And now I can be here standing in front of the slides, talking to my audience. Need to remember to look at the camera. If I want to point to specific things, I can see the preview there. So I can see where my finger is pointing. And then when, once I positioned my finger, then I look back at the camera. And now this is how you can get yourself uh, in front of your slides. And now the final step is how do we get this uh, nice thing, composition video to zoom? We'll just start virtual camera in OBS and uh, getting it going might require that you adjust the security settings of a computer, but that's a one-time thing to do. And uh, once you've set it, you just press it on. And then in zoom, we pick uh, OBS virtual camera as our camera. And this is uh, now a Zoom recording and uh, people would see me in front of the slides. You can do also the, the other way around. So you can, you can have the slides in front of you. And it's basically a, a, a reverse of the chroma key effect. So, so let's try that out. If we uh, take the green screen, just, just pull it aside. And we want to have like a nice office setup where we talk about certain things and maybe we want to have our, our presentation come back, come on, on this wall instead of being, uh, being behind us. So, so this is another way of, of doing presentations. So what we can do is that we, uh, we start a new scene and uh, just gonna call it uh, slides in front. And uh, what we will do now is that we will go to the next slide. You will not see anything because uh, there's nothing shown on the main screen now. And uh, of course the Zoom meeting is also is, is black because there is nothing being broadcast. And we will now add the webcam. So I'm going to add the webcam. I mean, instead of, I'm not, I'm adding instead of copying because um, I'm adding existing camera, but this one does not have the effects. So I need to disable the effects here. And I'm going to disable the chroma key and the cropping. So this is the, what my office looks like. And now how do we get the, uh, the slides to show in front of me? Well, we'll do the chroma key effect uh, in, in the reverse order. So I will add display capture here. And uh, let's do laptop screen with chroma key. And we'll choose display number one, which is the laptop screen. And now you can see uh, the Google logo or parts of it. This was one, one slide from my, my presentation. And we'll, we'll size the fleet fit again. And let's make it a bit smaller. So. So now we can see that there is uh, there are a couple of, we get the slides here. So it is in a way in front of us, but it doesn't look very nice. And uh, the, the magic happens when we uh, add filters. So uh, we'll do filters and um, first we'll add crop. So we'll crop the black bars from the side. Let's try 200. Not enough, 250, not enough, 280. That looks right and 280 and, and this is our crop. And then the next thing we want to get a read of is this purple background. And the background is purple on purpose because I wanted to use a color for the background that I'm not using in the presentation. Top screen filters and uh, I will add chroma key And I'm not using green background. You can see the default is green. So the L from Google is, is green and it disappears. I'm not using uh, green. 
but instead I'm using a custom color and I'm selecting a color and that color is the closest that I have and I need and now because the Google logo is so so vibrantly colored we need to make some adjustments so it doesn't work work uh, right off the bat so uh, we adjust the similarity we got text here that the students can read we can talk about Google and we get uh, these nice slides in front of me so you can do either uh, your, yourself as a background for the slides or you can do slides as your background and uh, this is again shown on, on Zoom now properly and if we go to the PowerPoint we can switch from different slides and control what is shown here and tell our students uh, and lecture to our students. Doesn't it look a lot cooler than just being like a small box uh, that are in front of the slides? Of course you can do the small box uh, in front of the slides and just show your head with OBS but with this kind of effect it's a lot more natural and students really like this more natural feeling of the lecturing. So thanks for watching and uh, if you like the video you can subscribe to my channel. I mostly publish videos about uh, research methods and entrepreneurship, the things that I teach, but I occasionally do videos about teaching as well.